Hello and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 1. In this session, we'll be looking at reading, writing, ordering and comparing percentages in whole numbers and calculating percentages of quantities, including simple percentage increases and decreases by 5% and multiples thereof. It's important to understand that percent means out of 100. The percentage sign is a shortened way of saying percent. So 30 in the percentage sign means 30%. This is the same as 30 out of 100. You can also write any percentage as a fraction. For example, 30% equals 30 one hundredths. Note 100% represents the whole amount. You may find some questions easier to calculate by converting between a fraction, decimal, and percentage, but you need to remember to convert back to a percentage for your final answer. For example, 40 out of 200 is 42 hundredths. If we simplify that, that's 20 one hundredths or 20%. Here's some examples of fractions, decimals, and percentages, and you can see the conversion between them all. So 40% is 40 one hundredths or 0.4. 25% uh, is 25 one hundredths or 0.25. 60% is 60 one hundredths or 0.6. To calculate with ease, the following can be used. Divide by 2 to get 50%. Divide by 10 to calculate 10%. And divide by 20 to find 5%. It's important to note, though, that these are one off calculations, so you couldn't divide by 40 to get 40%, for example. So we'll calculate 5% of 250. And remember, we can divide by 20 to find 5%. So in your calculator, you could type 250 divided by 20, and you'll get 12.5. Calculating 10% of 460. Remember, you can divide by 10. So 460 divided by 10 is 46. And if we calculate 50% of 360, remember we can divide by 2. So 360 divided by 2 is 180. You may be asked questions in a variety of ways. For example, write 45% as a fraction. What is 20% of 50? Sarah teaches a class which has 32 members. 75% of the class are women. How many members of the class are women? There are 145 dresses in the shop at the start of the day. 20% of the dresses are sold by the end of the day. How many dresses did the shop sell during that day? Well, let's look at these and see if we can get a way of answering them. So write 45% as a fraction. Remember, it's 45 out of 100. So the denominator in this case would be 100, and we would put the 45 on top as the numerator. So 45 one hundredths. What is 20% of 50? Well, the calculation for your calculator would be 50 divided by 100 times 20. But remember on the last slide, we looked at being able to divide by 5 to find out 20%. So 50 divided by 5. So 5 goes into 5 once and into 0, 0. So the answer is 10. So for the question, Sarah teaches a class which has 32 members. 75% of the class are women. How many members of the class are women? Well, the calculation we need to do is 75 divided by 100 times 32. You should get 24. The final question on this slide. There are 145 dresses in the shop at the start of the day. 20% of the dresses are sold by the end of the day. How many dresses did the shop sell during the day? So the calculation again is 145 divided by 100 times 20. Now remember, we can find 20% by 
dividing by 5. So let's try that here. 145 divided by 5. So 5 divides into 1 zero times. Let's carry the 1 across. And now we're looking at how many times 5 divides into 14. Well, that's twice with a remainder of 4. So how many times does 5 divide into 45? That's 9. So 145 divided by 5 is 29. In other words, 20% 20 of 145 is 29. So let's continue with some more questions. Calculate 24% of 200. Well, the calculation is 200 divided by 100 times 24, which equals 48. Mark scored 97 out of 150 on an exam. What is his score as a percentage? 97 divided by 150 times 100 equals 64.66. Cinema has 425 seats. 240 of the seats have been booked. What percentage of the seats have been booked? So the calculation for your calculator is 240 divided by 425 times 100. You should get 56.47. To calculate a percentage increase or decrease, you must firstly find the percentage of, then either add or subtract accordingly. For example, last year, 840 students went on a school trip. This year, there was a 5% increase in the number of students that went on the school trip. How many students went on the school trip this year? So, the first step is to find 5% of 840, or 5 one hundredths times 840. So in your calculator, you can type 5 divided by 100 times 840, which gives you 42. The next step is to add the 840 students that went last year. So 42 plus 840 equals 882. Note that you can calculate a 5% decrease by simply subtracting. So 840 minus 42 equals 798. Sarah is buying material. She measures out four meters. The shop owner gives her an extra 10% at no extra cost. How much material does Sarah end up with? Four meters divided by 100 times 10 equals 0 0.4. Then we need to add that 0 0.4 to the original four meters, which gives us 4.4 meters. Michael runs in a 15 kilometer race. He beats his personal best time by 5%. His personal best was 60 minutes. How long did Michael take to complete the race? 60 divided by 100 times five equals three. So now we need to subtract the three from 60, which gives us 57. Michael's new personal best is 57 minutes. Now let's look at an example exam question. Your salary is £16,500. Your boss gives you a 5% increase. How much will your new salary be with a 5% increase? Show you're working out and write the answer in the box below. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, have a good answer in the question, and then press play when you're ready to see the answer. Did you get it right? The answer is 17,325. But let's look at how we get to that answer. First step is to find 5% of 16,500. 16,500 divided by 100 times 5 equals 825. So 5% 5 of 16,500 is 825 pounds. Next step is to add the £825 to your original salary of £16,500. So if we do that, the final answer for the increased salary will be 17325 after the increase is added on. Let's recap. It's important to understand that percent means out of 100. 
the percentage same is a shortened way of saying percent. 30% means 30% basically, and this is the same as 30 out of 100. You can also write any percentage as a fraction. For example, 30% equals 30 one hundredths. For a percentage increase or decrease, you must firstly find the percentage of, then either add or subtract accordingly. Thanks for participating, and I'll see you on the next session.